Jerk Store asked, did I finish Avengers Endgame? What are my thoughts? Yes, I did finally finish it this week. Um, You know, it's a little... I'll be honest with you, it's a little disjointed for me because, you know, even though I saw a lot of the movies, most of them actually, from the Marvel... Uh, what do they call it? What do they call that? Wave 1 or, or whatever it's called? Whatever those Marvel movies are from this first phase of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I saw most of them. The only ones I didn't see... I didn't see Captain Marvel. I didn't see Ant-Man and the Wasp. But I actually think I saw every other movie from the Marvel Cinematic Universe up to Avengers Endgame. Um, I, I Let me put it this way. I thought the movie was good, but at the same time, I feel like if I had watched the other movies recently, I would have gotten more of the references. I would have understood more about the movie. Because <laughs> they're basically tying up a lot of plot lines in it. Like, they're saying goodbye to certain characters because, you know, because they make an ultimate sacrifice. Some other characters get happy endings. And because of that, it's like, man, I kind of wish that I had, I had an investment in this because I really don't. Because even though I've seen all the movies, it's been so long. You know, the movie started coming out, what, a decade ago? So really, it's not like, oh, I'm, I'm into these movies and I see them all the time. And, you know, I have no real investment in the characters. So for me, it was kind of like, um, it was a disappointment because I was like, man, I wish I cared more. You know, I I thought the movie was okay. A lot of comedy. They put a lot of comedy into the Marvel movies. Um, which is all right, I guess. I think some of it's over the top. Like, with Thor Ragnarok, I thought was too much comedy. Um, but I thought it was all right. Let me put it that way. I didn't expect what they did with that movie. I don't want to spoil for anyone who didn't see it. I seriously wasn't expecting them to do that with the plot at all. It was so weird the way that they did that with the plot. And quite frankly, it was kind of... It was anticlimactic, but then there was another climax you weren't expecting. Let's put it that way. Like, what you were expecting to happen never happened. And then all of a sudden, a different climax. It was like, okay, I guess it's kind of unique the way they did that. But I don't know if that's really the payoff people are looking for. Especially because by the end of the movie, you some of your characters you absolutely love are gone for good. And others are written out of the story. Like, man, we're never going to see these characters again. That fucking sucks. Because we actually like these characters, right? So, I can see how people could definitely have mixed feelings about it. I did. I liked the movie overall, but I actually felt that maybe it could have been done better. Also, the one thing I'll be very I'll be very honest about, uh, they never actually used the true motivation for Thanos at all for what he does, uh, which is bullshit, because it's actually hinted at. If you actually watch the previous movies, they when Thanos is first appearing, um... There's a little line from Thanos's. I don't know if it's like his assistant or emissary, whoever it is, and he, says, he has this line. He says, "To, to, uh, I think he's like to challenge them or to mess with the with the Avengers on Earth would be to court death." And I was like, "That's the line. That's the line that references Thanos's actual intentions." And they don't do that at all in the plot line. They drop the whole thing and they never really reveal that as his intentions at all. And his real intentions suck. So it's kind of like. The ultimate villain is weak because he really has no real reason for doing what he's doing, which is lame. So I didn't really like that. Um, I, I call him Thanos because that's how we used to pronounce his fucking name, by the way. I know it's Thanos. Oh, Thanos came to destroy the Earth. Now, I, I say Thanos, but okay, it's Thanos. Excuse me. Because people have to be dicks in stream chat and correct everything I say. But, uh... Yeah, that's the thing. I think Th Thanos had weak motivations and was a weak villain. I think that some of the characters being written out of the plot from now on are kind of lame because these are characters you come to love. I can understand some characters having to sacrifice and, and maybe leave the Marvel Universe for good to have a definitive ending. That was okay. But at the same time, I don't know. Like, I kind of, I watched it. I did feel a little emotional at the end, especially when they show the character portraits with the, the actor's signatures and stuff because they, they played these characters for so long, you know, a decade or more. In these movies but i kind of felt like i don't know like it, it, it felt a little empty at the end almost like it wasn't a fulfilling conclusion to that whole phase one of the marvel cinematic universe like it's like almost like it was kind of rushed and you know what i mean like i don't know and it also felt to be like a lot of the characters who you would have expected to have an important role didn't just because they were finger snapped in the first movie and it's like, that's lame. These are supposed to be some of the best characters, and they're not even in it because they're finger-snapped, and they're barely in this thing. Um, Captain Marvel was super-duper lame. Captain Marvel was ultimately lame. Like, she shows up too late to help anything, right? But then she's overpowered. It's like, wait a minute. You couldn't help when they needed you to save the billion people that died. You couldn't be here, 
right? But now you show up late and you say you were too busy. There was nothing else in the universe more important than like a billion lives dying at one moment with a finger snap. Go fuck yourself. It's the it's like really pathetic writing. And then she's a weak character for the whole movie. She's an incredibly weak character, and it's really badly done. So if if, if anything, it almost seems like she was shoehorned in. Like she wasn't even a part of the plot. But they said, we need to make more money with another movie. Let's wedge one in here. So they wedged in the Captain Marvel franchise to try to make more money on her movie. But in reality, it didn't fit. She literally didn't have to be in it at all. She could have not been in it whatsoever. And it would have been the same exact movie. Mm -hmm. Um. So overall, did I love it? No. Did I hate it? No. It was just kind of meh. Which is a shame because I was expecting it to be the big culmination of 10 years of movies and it really didn't feel very great to me. Who's Yuri did a 50-bit cheer? He said, Thanos! <laughs> De Niro, Josh cheered. He said, what's your favorite Marvel? What's your favorite Marvel? What? I don't even know what that... What is your favorite Marvel? <laughs> if you mean my favorite Marvel character? It used to be Wolverine. I really don't have one anymore. Um, quite frankly, I don't think I was, I really liked any of the characters in the, in the MCU. Like, none of them seemed, like, likable to me. Maybe Iron Man was the best, but most of them were kind of, like, not really the kind of hero. I grew up in the era of the 90s, the anti-heroes. You're looking for the guy who's the gritty hero, who, against all odds, still survives. You know, brutal, has his way, you know, visual anti-justice. That was the hero that was hot in the 90s, and that's what I grew up with, um, these MCU heroes are nothing like that, so I really don't have a favor out of all of those. All right, De Niro, Josh, said, he cheered again. He said, I meant your favorite movie. Uh, out of all the Marvel movies? Oh, man. The original Iron Man movie. It's literally the first movie of all the Marvel movies I think is the best one. I actually think if you rank all the, those MCU movies from that phase one, Iron Man's the best one. The very first Iron Man. Seriously. It's the one that started it all. It was great writing, <clears throat> a redemption story for, for a character, and almost, for some extent, for an actor, because Robert Downey Jr. really hadn't done anything so great until Iron Man. When you really think about it, you know, he, at one point he was a very popular actor, then he got into drugs and stuff, got into trouble, went to jail, and then just, that was like his redemption role that got him back into mainstream attention again, right? <clears throat> so I would actually say... I think Iron Man, the original Iron Man movie was the best one out of all of them. <laughs> okay, now Mud Butt McGrath is banned permanently for being a piece of human shit. 